It's a really cool figure over here. Uh, first off, backstory on how I got this. Well, it was not at Barnes & Noble. Um, I don't think they had this at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I went to Walmart, and um, if you have, if you live in the United States, you'll know that um, for Batman v Superman, Walmart's put this huge display near the registers that had all kinds of Batman v Superman toys and, um, you know, cups and plates and shirts and pillows and blankets, but also had a large selection of Funko Pops. Uh, some of them were Adam West, some of them was uh, Christian Bell, but mainly they were for Batman v Superman. Well, they've kind of done the same done the same thing with Captain America Civil War. I've only seen this at one Walmart, though, uh, but they have, like, a huge Captain America Civil War display, and they have, like, two, three big shelves of Funko Pop, more than the Batman uh, v Superman. The shelves aren't as big, but they do have it, like, the display is as big, but there are more Funko Pops, and, um, you know, they just had some really nice ones. They had uh, a lot of great ones. They had an entire row of Ant-Man, so if you miss out on Ant-Man... You will um, be able to get Ant Man, not Giant Man, but Ant Man from the movie Ant Man. So that's good. Um, they also had uh, Age of Ultron Vision. Um, they had kept. They had a lot of Captain America Civil War ones, and they also had um, Agent May from Agents of Shield and Agent Carter as well. So they um, and they had this guy. So it's kind of like they're mixing in some of the older ones with some of the newer ones. So if you miss out on anyone, you might be able to find them there. And uh, basically, artwork and style. You know, I mean, it's the same with Funko Pop. Just all kinds. Really cool. But you know, collect them all in the back. Pretty much generic. Uh, so let's open this thing. So here we have Spidey, really cool. Um, you'll notice it's a darker red, lighter, darker blue, actually. So, um, you know, uh, that's a little hard to see on camera, but it is still cool. As you can see, we have the big pop, whited out eyes with the black rims around. That's really cool. Classic. Also looks a lot like the new Tom Holland mask, which is why I really got this. As you can see, the detailing on the web is pretty, pretty nice as well. All of this is molded into the sculpt, uh, no painted on. So they've done an absolute really good job. It might be a little hard to see, but there's even some really nice darked out red spots on this thing. They did a really nice job paint and sculpt meme wise, and that's just on the head. So uh, moving on to the arms, as you can see, he has his signature web swinging pose on this side, um, which, fun fact, in American Sign Language, that actually means I love you if you do like this. So, um, you know, um, just thought I would say that. Uh, my mom was a deaf teacher for a few years, so, uh, you know, I know a little bit of sign language, and it's really cool that, you know, because I liked Spider-Man as a kid, it was really cool that it was also that, and it was kind of helped me remember some of the stuff a little bit easier. So as you can see, the webbing detailing is really nice on the arm. I think they got the pose right, too, and he's kind of like angling it down, upward source, and, you know, kind of like how he does when he shoots webs. Really cool. Uh, the other hand is just a fist, generic fist. No one really cares about it, but um, it's still really cool. And it's got the nice webbing detail. The webbing detail is really hard to see, but it's better on the arms than it is on the head, just because of how small it is and how precise it is into the sculpt. So that's really cool that they could do that. Uh, the spider logo is something that will be very hard to see on my camera, so I'm very, very sorry about that. Uh, but it is pretty nice, um, actually. It's got the eight legs, I believe. Yep. And um, they've, they've kind of like... Yeah, they, they've done it pretty good. It's, um, I really like it, and I also like how they've uh, done the blue and the red here as well. Kind of like, you know, it's crossing into each other, like Spider-Man's costume does. The boots are neat. Uh, they're pretty much just plain generic red boots with the webbing design in them, so that's really cool. Uh, but on the back, we have Spidey's belt and the red web, or red spider logo. Uh, really excited. This is going to be on Tom Holland's suit. If you pause the trailer, you can kind of see it. Now, um, the Spider-Man red logo has been something that's had a few problems in film. I'm not sure if it was on the Amazing Spider-Man suit. I think it, or the first one. I think it was on the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, and it was on the original trilogy, but every time they have it, um, the webbing and the spider always looks different. I guess because they feel this is kind of lame, but I really like this design, and it's going to be on Tom Holland's suit. I'm really excited that they're putting on that. So, you know, um, this is not a Tom Holland official Spider-Man. It's a comic Spider-Man, but, you know, seeing as Tom Holland's suit is kind of, like, around this one, I don't think, like, um, you know, if you got this, it would, like, stick out that much, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my Civil War stuff. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. Have a nice day. And, uh, yes, I do recommend this one. Go pop. Whew.